Hello everyone. Okay, so as we were doing the chapter number third of your class eight NCERT history, so ruling the countryside. So we were on the topic the new system. A new system is devised. Okay, so in this in this video I'm gonna clear this topic and please watch the previous videos to have a better understanding of this topic. All right. So before beginning this topic, let me just tell you, give you an overview of this topic. That in this topic we'll get to know about the Mahalwari settlement. The only thing here comes Mahalwari settlement. All right. Okay. So without wasting time, let's begin. So here in the northwest of Bengal, Bengal's northwest at that time in the Bengal Presidency, the northwest is now considered in UP. Is now currently is in Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Uttar Pradesh is a state in India in the northwest area. Okay. So uh, there, what happened? An Englishman Holt Mackenzie, what Holt Mackenzie, remember the name Holt Mackenzie, introduced a new set system, a new revenue uh, revenue system in the British Parliament or in the British company. Okay, for the company. So this new system was named as Mehrwari Settlement. Okay, so Holt Mackenzie devised the new system, which came into effect in eighteen twenty two. Okay, in eighteen twenty-two. Sorry for the handwriting. I have a little bad handwriting. Leave it. Okay. So in eighteen twenty-two, Mehalwari settlement devised by Holt Mackenzie. Remember this line. Now, what were the changes? As permanent settlement was not that fruitful, so this system has to be made. The new system has to be devised. Okay. So now, what were the changes? What were the differences between permanent settlements and the Mehalwari settlement? So in this, what happened? Collectors have to evaluate the revenue by looking at the or by lo or looking or checking at the lands of villagers on a on a particular period of time. Okay, so they have to check it. They have to keep an eye. All the collectors, revenue collectors, have to keep an eye on the villagers, villagers' lands or whatever or how the soil is like, how the soil is getting cultivated. What are their you know incomes, monthly incomes? So they have to keep all the records. Up to date. This was the thing. This was the first point of Mehalwari settlement. Now the second point comes here that there was no fixed revenue, as in the permanent settlement. Settlement, the revenue was fixed, which has to be paid to the company. This time there was no fixed revenue. And the third thing here comes that revenue will be collected by village headmen in spite of zamindars. So as in permanent settlements. Revenue was to be collected by zamindars, but this time revenue is gonna collected by village headman. Okay, village headman. So they also hired village headmans. All right. I mean headman. Okay. So these were the three things which happened in Mehalwari settlement. Now you may have a question or you ha may have a doubt that why this settlement's name was uh, named as Mehalwari. Why? So the reason behind this. Is the term mehel means revenue estate for Britishers? Britishers consider the meaning of mehel as revenue estate. Okay, uh, in normal language we think mehel is a castle, but at that time they considered it as a revenue estate in which one or more villages can be considered. All right. So this was the whole thing, and let me just tell you, estate you can consider uh, the term estate here comes may you don't know the meaning of it. So estate it's just about. A group. You can consider it as a group. So the group who paid, who pays revenue, that group is known as mehel. Okay. So group of villagers or group of villages that it is. So this paragraph ends in here. Watch the next video to understand the next paragraph, the Mundro system, and also all was not well. So that the topic of our uh, chapter, or the whole first topic of our chapter number third, the company becomes a divan, will be completed. Okay. So if you have any if you have any uh, doubts or questions or you know anything to ask related to this chapter, please comment down so that I would clear them your all doubts, your all, all queries, your all confusions as soon as possible. Okay, bye.